Hi everyone, welcome to Whole Artist Mastery. I'm Marianne Mitchell. I love reading all of your comments in the feed below each video and several of you have been asking about the wooden um, hanging apparatus that I have on my wall for painting. So I thought I'd take a few minutes and talk to you about that. These are actually called French cleats and um, I actually had these made for me uh, by somebody who's handy with doing such things because I am without that skill and I'm without a wood shop. So um, he made them so that I could hang a painting on them like this. And the reason why I like to work on the wall is because it's sturdy and I can be rest assured that the panel, because I like to work on wood, wood panel, is going to stay strong and firm without moving around. So many easels are very sturdy, big, and they're very expensive too. And I'm currently in a very tiny studio, so being able to work on the wall saves a lot of space for the rest of the room to be used for storage and tables and things like that. So, but I've always liked to work on the wall and um, it just, first of all, in an easel, you have to tilt it ever so slightly to have the painting stay on the easel. Whereas on the wall, it's, you know, 90 degrees upright. Um, or straight upright. So it allows you to be painting the painting as you're going to be looking at it on a wall. Many of you may have the opportunity to paint on your wall, but you're without um, knowing how to hang it. So what I'm going to do is show you up close here what they look like and we'll go from there. So the depth of this piece of wood is about three quarters of an inch, uh, maybe five eighths of an inch. Uh, and the length is eight inches long. And then the 45 degree angle cut to make a beveled edge is, um, goes down, let's see, this is the, height of it is about an inch and a quarter. So from the top down to about uh, half an inch is the, the 45 degree angle cut. So that your painting can hang in the um, angled cut area so that it stays firmly on the wall as opposed to hanging on something that's um, flat because it, it might actually fall off the wall if you do that. When you are putting these on the wall, you wanna make sure that there's a space between them because many canvases and wood panels have a crossbar that you want to be able to uh, allow to hang here. And um, so this works for 24, 36, inch square or um, rectangles in that size range. If you're working larger, I would suggest that you make them a little bigger, a little longer. I have yet to find something like this that's wooden with this kind of um, bevel online or in any shop. And if you know of a place that you can buy something that's wooden and that's built like this, I'd love for you to put the um, link in the comments box. And um, if you are wanting something like this and you have a shop and have the capacity to make them, go right ahead. If you're without a shop, um, see if you can find somebody who's doing small carpentry work and can build them for you. Um, if you're painting very small, you can make them uh, more like five inches long and um, you can tailor them to the size of paintings that you're making. I am going to put a link below to a metal version of what I'm talking about that I found on Amazon. Uh, I have yet to see it in person or you know, know how it works, so I'm unable to fully recommend it. 
But I do recommend painting on the wall. And if you have the uh, affordability in your home to dedicate a wall to painting, go to it. <laughs> have fun. Thanks so much. I'll see you next time.